Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and today we are looking at this Ham International Viking which is an 80 channel AM FM CB radio and it's not in too bad condition so anyway let's see what we can do with it so I've already had the cases powder coated by my local powder coating company because I needed to do um, 10 cases at once so i am just made it up with the radios that I had but the case was pretty bad anyway so so here we have the standard AM FM circuit board and everything looks okay in there doesn't look like there's been really any work on it so let's just fire it up and as we can see we've got high band working frequency is a little bit off but that's to be expected so we can just adjust these trimmers and get this bang on so yeah that's nice and close nice power output as well That's low power, back onto high power, so everything seems to be working. So what we're going to do to this radio, is we're going to fit UK40 onto it. But as I was taking it apart, I noticed that the metalwork on the front was hanging off. So I'm just trying to see how bad it actually is and sure enough it was held on with goodwill I think so we can glue that back down again with some B7000 well, our PLL's down there so I need to get that out With our desoldering gun, which makes nice short work of it. Obviously, speed it up. There's our PLL. A 1981 PLL there. So, 11th week of 81. Yep. EG as well. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fit one of my modification boards into it with the UK40 off the high band notice how I say high band because something goes wrong with this radio very soon so we'll just offer it up to the back make sure the holes are nice and free we'll put our mod board in now how we're going to switch this So just jump in the wires from high, drops us onto UK40 with no offset. Offset's not a problem, we can fix that. So what we're going to do is we want to fit one of these pull switches. And that's going to activate our UK40. So we're still going to keep high and mid, but we're just going to have UK40 on the pull switch. So we just need to work out the wiring for the original switch. And once we've got that we can then move it onto our new switch so this is actually the PA switch so we're going to be disabling the PA replacing it with our pull switch so a couple of connections need to work out like the supply for the display there's our offset board which we're going to use A new version of mine with surface mount components and there it's all wired in apart from the crystal um, lead which is the white one so how a squelch works and that's our pull switch I 
We've got our UK 40 on those two contacts. So everything was working good. Everything was working real nicely. And then something happened to the radio. I don't know what happened. I don't know whether it was me that caused it or something went faulty. But in the process of testing it, this happened and we lost high band. So from this point, high band has now become really unstable. So I'm going to proceed with a modification anyway. Let's see if we can find the fault later on. So we just need to change one of these, uh, the buffering caps for the crystal. We found the correct value of capacitor for the offset. And as you can see, it still works. And everything looks fine. Which I thought, okay, everything's fixed. And then it goes again and we lose the high band. So I thought it may have been a dirty switch. So I'll give the switch a good clean because it seemed to do strange things with the switch. So I'll give the switch a good cleaning. Unfortunately, this didn't make much of a difference. There's a couple of last things I needed to do for this modification, which was remove the 41 to 8 to display. While well, still hoping I could find a fault with the high band. So I just need to move this green wire and drop it on top of the blue wire. That removes our 41 to 8 to display. Just like that. You might have noticed I did solder it on the wrong one originally, but I corrected that, so that's correct now. So this is a few weeks later, because I couldn't get any sense out of the radio, and high band just basically refused, so I put it to one side. So, I think it's something to do with this oscillator board, but I've checked the components on it, I can't find anything wrong with it. So for testing, I've actually linked out the oscillator board, which means we need to refit C17 with a 47 picofarad. So I managed to find this on a schematic. And the radio is now rock solid on midband. So we're going to have to use one of my mod boards to regain high band again. So a quick reprogram of one of the picks. And now we've got high band in UK40 running off the midband. And because of this, we need to add a relay in there as well. But this actually turns out quite nice, actually. So you can see we have high band, we have mid band. And when we pull the switch, it goes to UK40. But the good thing is, is that the UK40 overrides the mid and high switch so no matter where you are you just pull the UK40 and it drops it to UK40 and that was our offset board fitted so mid band high band UK40 with offset close enough a little readjustment of the output stage just to get it level across the bands that's good enough. Having a look at the receiver. Everything's looking good on the receiver. Just had to adjust it to level it out a little bit across the bands.
Well, I think it's sensitive enough. I think that's well within spec. So I've tried leveling it out, just have a quick look there. So 26, 965, channel 1, mid-band. nine nine one two so channel 40 uk 40 and yeah receivers it's as good as it'll do for us so again there's our powder coated case looking very good you can see uk 40 is irrelevant to the band switch now So yeah, an interesting fault on this radio, and unfortunately I couldn't solve it. I really did not have a clue on what the problem was with that oscillator board. I did try crystals, I just couldn't put my finger on it. But anyway, I think this has turned out as a better option, because it does work quite nicely now. But anyway... Hope you enjoyed this semi-fail video, but with a good ending. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can join the Facebook group, buy me a coffee, join Patreon. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.